Good afternoon, you guys. How are you guys all doing today? I hope you guys are doing fantastic overall. Today, I am with my good friend, Zoheb. You guys saw him in like two videos ago when I drove his, or I rode in his stage two Subaru WRX. Well, this is his daily driver. It's a 2017 Audi A3. It's a beautiful car. And today I thought, why not make some driving impressions on it? Why not do a little review on it? And see kind of how this car compares to the BMW 2 Series as well. The overall refinement and ride quality of this car is also pretty darn good, especially at the price point for this car being pretty much a base model Audi at the very base that it is. It's very refined and it definitely speaks a lot of class. Now, the biggest thing that this car competes with is the BMW 2 Series and the Mercedes CLA. Well, compared to the BMW 2 Series, obviously the big advantage with the Audi is the fact that you have four doors over the 2 Series. The 2 Series is a coupe. And backspace in this car isn't too bad. It's a little bit cramped in the rear considering the overall dimensions of the car. This is more of a compact sedan. But for the most part, you can fit people comfortably. If you're over like six, six feet maybe I'd say, it might be a little bit cramped and you might feel a tad bit stuffed in there, but you can definitely fit four people in this car and that really makes it advantageous over something like the 2 Series. However, the 2 Series I'd say is a little bit more sporty. You do have, as standard, a more powerful engine and you can also upgrade even to the M240i which has a turbo six cylinder. But in addition to that, you have the Audi S3 on the other hand, which, you know, can also compete in the performance segment as the 2 Series. All right, so I'm currently now sitting behind the wheel of the 2017 Audi A3. And just first impressions, like I was saying overall, beautiful, simple, and refined interior. This car, compared to most Audis, is actually front wheel drive. So when you purchase the A3, you can actually decide to go with, as standard, the front wheel drive model, or you can opt for the Quattro model. But if you're like us living in Southern California or in an area with dry road conditions, the front wheel drive model is pretty good. If you do launch this car or really get on the power, there, it is, there is a possibility of getting torque steer on the car as well. Um, but for the most part, it's pretty manageable. This car isn't laying down a ton of power to the ground. So, you know, the torque steer really isn't an issue. And for most people, this car is going to be a, a daily driver. They're not gonna be flooring it or launching it out of light. But uh, if you are, living in a place with winter conditions or where it's constantly raining or something, the all-wheel drive or quattro version might be something you wanna um, you know, opt in for. Next up, as far as how the power is on this car, well, it's very linear. Uh, I'm not sure, to be honest, if this is a conventional turbocharger or if Audi implemented a twin scroll into this two liter uh, four cylinder, but there's virtually no turbo lag in this engine, at least from my experience personally driving it. Um, but it definitely gets up and goes. It's very, very smooth. So, I mean, when you get on it, you may not necessarily feel like you're going incredibly fast, but once you look down at the speedometer and you kind of look around you, you're like, wow, you know, you're up to speed. So it's a very smooth engine and the way that it brings on the power is very linear naturally, um, despite the fact that it is a turbocharged four cylinder engine. But as far as for, like I said, for daily driving use, this car, it, it has enough power. You know, you don't need anything really more. Um, you can, if you need to accelerate past someone, or like I said, accelerate on your freeway in traffic, this car, it's got you covered in that aspect. One thing that I really love is the steering wheel. Uh, you can actually option with the sport package on this car, a flat bottom steering wheel, but this rounded out steering wheel is just superb, honestly. It's really nice, got this really nice, you know, soft like leather wrap to it. And these seats are very comfor comfortable and for it being the non-sport package as well, these seats provide a sufficient amount of bolstering, um, you know, if you are going to do a little bit of spirited driving in the car. But like I said, just very overall nice and refined interior. Just such a smooth and classy feeling car. If there was one way that I had to describe this car, it's like the perfect car for getting from point A to point B. This car doesn't scream it's a sports car or performance, but it's very practical. You get great gas mileage on this thing. It's a two liter turbo four cylinder engine, produces about 180 horsepower or so, but it's plenty of horsepower and it makes up for that horsepower with the torque. You have around 220 pound feet of torque or, or so, and it definitely gets up and going. The other thing that's really nice about this car is the addition of the DSG transmission. It's a double clutch system and it is unbelievably smooth when you're driving in just through normal traffic. It's not clunky at all. It's very smooth. Like you cannot even feel the transmission 
shifting gears at all. And when you flick it into sport mode and start manual sh manually shifting via the gear selector, this thing is pretty rapid when it shifts, especially in the upshifts. It's just lightning quick. Getting on it a little bit. This car's got, my God, the transition's quick. And it's not crazy fast, but you know, it, it has a good amount of pull and it's more than enough power that you'd ever need for daily driving. And if you really do want more performance, more sportiness, you can go ahead, I mean, there's the S3, which you can upgrade to, and that's actually what Soheb most likely is going to be doing in the near future, um, is upgrading to the S3. But overall, guys, this is a perfect daily driver. As far as any gripes that I would have about this car, I would say that because it's a sedan and it does have four doors, the rear passenger seats, is a little bit cramped as I stated before it's not the most you know comfortable thing if you're like over six feet to sit in you will feel a little bit stuffed in there but naturally this car is more of a compact car so that is to be expected I would say that compared to something like the BMW 2 series this car isn't as sporty but I feel like with the addition of the sport package and you know if you were to upgrade to the S model you know this car will completely make up for a lot of those things but overall just a very comfortable car to ride in. Very clean gauge layout, very clean dash layout. The Audi MMI system is really smooth actually, and it's really nice. For the base stereo system as well, this car bumps. Me and Zoheb were actually blasting music on the way here. This just really impressive power. I mean, you get up to speed quick. I apologize, I got carried away right there, but this transmission is unbelievably quick. The, the dual clutch on this thing is very responsive. We're actually cruising through the wine country right now, and overall, just very comfortable. So it's, you know, if you're really looking for a lot of space and stuff, this car isn't going to give that to you. The trunk space is another thing, it's a little bit limited. It's on the smaller side. But obviously, like I stated before, and like we all know, this is a compact sedan. So, you know, those sorts of amenities with extra room and whatnot are going to be a little bit limited on this car. And so finally, to answer that question for one final time in the title of this video, how does this car stack up to the 2 Series? Well, in terms of practicality and overall daily drivability, I would say this car would probably win when it comes to that segment, specifically because this car has four doors. The BMW 2 Series, naturally, of course, being that it's a coupe, uh, this car has a little more practicality involved with that. I think it has a better interior than the BMW. It's more refined as well. But when it comes to the sportiness and performance segment, I think the BMW is going to have to take the cake in that sense. Um, simply because it, as standard, it has a more powerful engine, 240 horsepower versus like 180 horsepower. And it is rear wheel drive, so if you want to get a little crazy with the power in the BMW, you have that ability. But like I said, this car is perfect from getting you to point A to point B. It really offers a lot to the table, especially as standard with you know the moonroof, nice sound system, the multimedia interface, the LED lights. It's a very classy car and it's very comfortable to drive in. Also, big props to Audi and Volkswagen for this DSG transmission because this double clutch system is one of the best that I've ever driven. It is unbelievably smooth and it shifts really, really quick. So. Overall guys, it's a really good car. If you guys are looking into one of these as a daily driver or something, it's gonna basically, it's gonna, you know, put the nail on the head for everything that you need essentially. And if you do want more sportiness, as Zoheb most likely will do in the future, you can always upgrade to the S3 as well, and even the RS3 if you're feeling like being a big spender. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this a uh, little bit more of a review and comparison video today. And overall, I love the Audi. It's a nice car. Thank you so much. If you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want to see more videos with this car, with Zoheb Subaru, with my 335, whatever, let me know in the comments down below. And thank you guys once again. I will catch you all in the next video. Later, guys.